All right, everyone. I got some pretty exciting news. This is the Fido. I've been wanting this for so long. Uh, I finally purchased one and we're gonna be modifying this thing like crazy. We're probably gonna start out at 52 volts, but work our way up to either 60 or 72 volts for uh, when I get finished here. So we're gonna go ahead and just unbox it today, take it out for a real quick spin. I'll throw on the GoPro and see what this little toy can do. Now this is a little toy, meaning that it only weighs, it actually weighs less than 50 pounds stock. And it's a little itty bitty, really cute. And you can modify these things like crazy. Now, a lot of the parts come from China or Malaysia or um, Indonesia, which I get a lot of parts from Indonesia to modify this. I don't think you have to put anything together that I know of. I never really watched an unboxing of this. But here we go. Let's remove the foam here. Looks like everything's intact. It should have a basket and a bag for the middle. I have already bought some aftermarket parts for it. Some of those parts will be here Tuesday and then some of them will be here in April because they're coming from China. I do have a small hole on the box where the peg was uh, but we'll be replacing those anyways so if there's any damage no big deal but it looks like everything's pretty good. Uh, you do turn this on with a key. It's just uh, really cool and it probably needs a little bit of dusting. But uh, let's go ahead and lift this thing up. A little bitty, itty bitty, tiny thing here. <laughs> now the Fido Q1S is a very popular bike in Asian countries because it only goes 15 miles an hour. And it has a lot of cargo capacity. And you can get seats for your kids to haul them around and um, instead of having a motorized scooter you can have one of these and it gets pretty decent range it's got a 10.4 amp hour battery I believe but this I purchased myself I told you guys I wasn't going to review any other brand e-bikes other than Aerial Rider but this is no competition to them as far as uh the kind of bikes that they have they don't have anything like this so no competition there plus this is just going to be a little toy a little project for the channel that we're going to soup up and make it go 50 60 miles an hour now i won't be traveling at those speeds all the time and uh, i don't even know if i fit on this uh, we'll see <laughs> The guy I bought it from said that I would. So we'll see. All right, let's see. We should have the basket and everything in here. I'll put that on after I get back from where I Now I gotta figure out Oh, it was on the whole time. So it's definitely gonna be dead. So this is definitely gonna need to be charged because it got kicked on. So no power. So I'll take it inside and charge it up and we'll go for a ride tomorrow. Uh, let me get the handlebars situated here. Now my plan is to definitely we're swapping out the seat. We're getting a different center bag by OMO and it's OMO is the brand and it's really nice high quality. These are just flimsy little bags uh, but we'll get a, a good one to hold the battery and controller when we upgrade. Uh, we are going to get a new hub motor. I'm not sure what size I'm going with yet or anything like that. I did get a lot of new parts which I'll show you in probably the next 
video or the video after that. I think the next video what we'll do is we'll go for a, a long ride around town and see how many people make fun of me. <laughs> it does have an integrated headlight here with a horn. So that's nice and uh, they make all kinds of aftermarket parts for this to soup it up. Um, I have a seat, pegs, a headlight, and uh, something else. We'll just have to wait and see what that is. But they give you this little three-way tool here which is nice it fits all the bolts so I'll be hanging on to that for when we go for a ride now here's your on off button your horn I'm not sure what that does it might enable and disable the uh, twist throttle it doesn't have pedals it has pegs which we'll be upgrading those as well and might that might have been the thing I forgot about uh, we'll be doing a lot of stuff to this it, this is going to be a cool project for the channel something that not a lot of people in the United States has so that'll be interesting look at how light this thing is now I'm probably going to have to make some adjustments on the kickstand open this little bag up here looks like we got a little padlock and the center bag and then this little piece this is how you attach it to the handlebars try to figure that out I guess it just Velcro's in here, maybe. That's what it looks like. Got little handles here. Let's Velcro this in. Okay, there we go. Now this should just clip up under here, I think. Oops. Like that, yep. Yeah. Something like that. There you go. There's my front bag. And here's my center bag. Which this again is temporary. My new bag should be here on Tuesday, I believe, which is a similar concept, it just made a little bit better. It's got zippers, lots of pouches. You guys will see once we get there. So this is even smaller than my Jetson Bolt, which, if you guys don't know, I still have that. Uh, I am planning to maybe bring it back out one day. have attachment points at the bottom okay cool nice and secure will that hold my puppy dog probably not Alright, well that's good enough for now. It does have front suspension with like a 20 millimeter travel. <laughs> Maybe a 40. But it got rear fenders, front fender, little tiny kickstand, uh, regular standard mechanical brakes, which we'll be upgrading 
we'll be upgrading the handlebars, uh, the suspension, and the, at least in the back, probably the front as well eventually. Let's sit on it. Definitely comfortable, no pedals, so you'll just be putting your feet up here like this. Uh, I believe this is the way the bag goes, if I'm not mistaken. Looks right. Yeah, I can't wait till we charge it up. I'll go for a spin. Get those grips in the right spot. Oh yeah. This will be cool. I'm excited. Like, extremely excited. Probably the most excited I've been about an electric bike in a while. You know, aside from my aerial riders, I'm talking about like my own projects. This is one I've been wanting to do for years. Since I first laid eyes on them, this is this has been my project bike. I've been teasing about getting one for, God, since I started my channel, since I first saw one. And I finally got one. So stay tuned for more. I will be doing several videos about the Fido Q1S. We will be talking about all of its features, how it rides the stock, and then we'll go through. We're gonna upgrade the controller maybe a couple times. I have a 52 volt battery just sitting here in my house that I need to use. New throttle, new ignition, new, well, we're gonna get a key ignition here, a key start, I guess you could call it. Different components all around, changing the handlebars. We might even change the stem. We'll see what happens. Uh, but yeah, everything's getting swapped out and we're going to make this thing badass. So if this is the first time you've been here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We have a lot of cool electric bike content on the channel. We are constantly getting new stuff, new accessories, new toys. I would greatly appreciate it if you subscribed. If you have any questions, leave it down in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.